In this video, we will finish removing all of our divided edges. We had started that in the previous video. Here I have two overlaps that can both be deleted, actually. Let me hit Escape and zoom out. And when I select this, notice that the entirety of my object is selected. We don't want that. We want to enter isolation mode so we can remove the overlaps. So in order to do that, we will double click on our artwork. Here are two overlaps that can be deleted. It looks as if most of our overlaps at this time have been successfully deleted around our hands, the body, the little fur bits, areas around this hand, the teeth, and then all the geometry up in the head. All right. What I will do next is hit escape to make sure we are out of isolation mode. And I'm going to change my fill to a bright color that will stand out. I will create a rectangle that I put over the top of all of my artwork on my layer that says outline where I'm creating tasks. This is this is not on my reference picture layer. With my green rectangle selected, I will arrange it and send it to the back so that it is behind my geometry. I'm going to hit Control A to highlight everything. Another method of doing this is to draw a box around your geometry. And in my Pathfinder menu, I don't want to divide. Instead, I would like to merge. At this time, I would like to enter isolation mode for this artwork that's been merged together. So we'll double click on the green color. We're now in isolation mode. I'm going to select the outer green color and hit delete. As long as we have overlapped all of our lines cleanly, this is what should happen. This little bit of color is incorrect, so we will delete that. That's a hole in his fingers. The nose should be black. So with the green color selected, I'm going to change it to black. This inner bit should be white. I'm going to double click to enter isolation mode again and click this and change it to white. I clicked once to close that menu and now I will hold shift and add all of the teeth to my selection. With all of the teeth selected, I'll change that color to white. Click once to close the fill menu. I'll select his belly change it to this light tan. I'll select this outer part of his body and change that to this dark brown. I'll select this part of the skin, this part of the skin, the tail, and the other arm. With all of these green sections that are supposed to be fur, I'll hit I for the eyedropper and fill those. I'll select the top portion of the head, I for the eyedropper, and fill that this ear as well. Oops, that was filled incorrectly. I will hold shift to add this other ear and we will change this to that color of the body. We're just recoloring our object from that filled object that we initially had chosen, which was our green color. One last little section of hand to fill. And that looks good. Exit will exit isolation mode. We can add a new layer. Choose a maybe a gradient to put behind our character and go from the top corner to the opposite corner. Bring that below. And maybe change our gradient to a radial gradient. I'll hit the letter G and that will bring up my gradient tool. Maybe I can just adjust what that gradient looks like. I expect a information panel to be included as well, but we've removed all the green color. All of our overlaps are clean. 